Well, welcome back to Better Kansas City. Now, because of this thing called a contract, I have to shave every morning, but that wasn't always the case. You can check out my Grizzly Adams look uh, there on the left side, and then, of course, clean shaven there and clean shaven today. But today, we're learning the benefits of a hot towel shave and proper beard care. Dan Casey of Venture Men Shop is here with some tips. Now, how long does getting a, a for real hot towel straight razor shave usually take? And do, should I incorporate that with my haircuts? How, how does this work here? Absolutely, you can do uh, just a shave or you can mm -hmm. get a haircut and a shave. Uh, my haircuts, I do 45 minute haircuts yeah. and then we, we kind of put the shave, uh, add that shave on uh, an additional 30 minutes. Uh, and so if you're just getting a shave with me though, I. Mm -hmm. Uh, make 45 minute uh, appointments. <laughs> okay. Just so you can like come in, relax. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's not just shaving haircut two bits or no. anything like that. So, exactly. Right. How often now? Obviously, you saw my beard there in that picture. I got a little bit long. You look, you look a little shorter than I had there. But we're talking about what do we need to do to prep him to get him shaved and trimmed up here? Because what I used to do, I'd let it grow, but then I just kind of you know trim the beard line right. underneath and trim right. up here so you weren't getting kind of weird. Exactly. Off. By the way, your beard is majestic. Thank you. Thank you. Can we just say that? It's fantastic. It's so, it's nice. no. it's, but it's not better than our producer Dante's. He's he no. said that. So um, he'll come out and you guys can fight later. Anyway, so what do we got to do to start our, our hot towel uh, shave here? Right. So uh, there there's process, and mm -hmm. so today we're not we're not getting rid of Cam's beard. He he insisted that it stays, but uh, <laughs> you know there's there's a. There's a whole process that I like to go, just so you're comfortable in, you know, keep, yeah. keep everything sanitary. I forgot my cape, but who cares? Okay. Uh, but <laughs> so with Kim, for example, if he's like, man, I've got a new uh, news show I'm going to be working on. Oh, I need okay. to get yeah, got to get cleaned up. Clean. So we would take everything down with an electronic uh, shaver, uh -huh. and then uh, then I would prep him for the shave. So once everything is removed, like he's just, like. Yeah, you want to you want to take it down. So okay. then then we would uh, we would recline him. Mm -hmm. I want I want all my clients to be uh, to be as comfortable sure. as possible. And so then there's just a process I go through. We do uh, uh, two hot sh two hot towels. Okay. And in between I'll do like a, a, a pre shave. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. And what do we got to do to put on his on his face here? Because we want to see him get shaved here. Can we get? Can, oh, I know yeah. we're not gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna fake it, but we're gonna kind of show you how it works. Here. Right. Okay. So. Uh, what I would do first is uh, after his, the hair's down, mm -hmm. then I would put like a pre-shave, and then I would do a hot towel. Okay. Right? So that really helps soften up the whiskers. Then helps soften up the whiskers, opens up the pores, mm -hmm. and then as as I'm doing it, I'm going like in an upward motion, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, most hair grows like it grows like down and out, out mm -hmm. and then like under the neck it grows up. Okay. Most of the time, some people have crazy whirls, and you know we won't get into that. But like, so I'll use a pre-shave to to help those uh, hairs stick up, and then I'm gonna get a really hot towel, and I would then proceed to cover his face mm -hmm. so that that steam. And this is gonna All look right. funny, but we want to make sure he can breathe, right? <laughs> so it's. What would you say about <laughs> for people who might be a little bit nervous about having a straight razor uh, hey, close to their to close to their here. face here? I mean, because I'm just. I'm, I'm a little concerned about having, you know, right. a sharp instrument close to my face that I'm not handling. Right. Uh, you know, uh, it takes trust. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you trust him? I do trust. Okay. Him. Good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thank, yeah. Thank you. Uh, and you have, I mean, you have to be trained to be a barber. Sure. I mean, there's a specific license you have to uh, get, and mm -hmm. so there's many hours, and and so they don't just give you a razor and say, "Good luck, kid." Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, it's know, probably good to know. Exactly. And so yeah, there there are steps. There are ways to doing it. And to, why are there so safe. many steps to it? I mean, it just seems like. It, it, there's like nine hot towels you've put on his face here. There's right. everything else to it. What's what's the secret behind everything? Um, well, well, safety one, yeah. and then just uh, for the smoothest shave yeah. and to take care of the skin. And so, um, and would you say the smoothest shave that you can get is from one of those straight absolutely. razors? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. And I know a lot of guys are afraid of uh, safety razors at home. They're like, oh, I always slice myself, self, self, excuse me, self mm -hmm. up. Um, it's all about the angle. That's okay. the one thing that you, you, you need to know is just like 45 degree angle and stretch that skin. Like when you're at home shaving, you want to just make sure you stretch your skin because you want that skin to be taut right. so that you can, uh, you know, take off all the hairs. All right, good yeah. tips. We appreciate it. Dane, Absolutely. thank you so much for helping me keep my face in line here. Mm -hmm. We'll hopefully employ some of those tips next time thank I'm you. next to that razor.